investigative, thoughtful, fun. I've often thought that UKIP was introduced just for a particular sect of people to take control of the EU referendum and other related matters, and that has been proven in the local election results today, which uh, have seen UKIP get totally obliterated. The interesting thing was a little slip by a BBC News report today when she was talking about the potential replacement of UKIP or their uprising later on. Have a look and see what you think. That would dictate whether a party like UKIP, or UKIP itself, would fare in the future. It's still too early to say whether or not UKIP's completely finished, but I think there's a lot of churn ahead. Uh, it's going to be interesting to watch where those Leave voters end up. So what you're saying is, depending on how the Conservatives handle what's left of this uh, Brexit process, that would dictate whether a party like UKIP, or UKIP itself, would fare in the future. The Conservative electorate today is very different from the Conservative electorate that supported David Cameron. It's more pro-Brexit, pro-Leave, uh, hostile towards immigration, uh, very socially conservative. So there we go, slip of the tongue or expression of an intent.